It's not just the customers who have disappeared from Greenwood's North Star Diner. Last week, owners Tony and Cato Lombardi were forced to make a heartbreaking choice. We kept, you know, trying to avoid laying people off and, you know, last Sunday we had to let everyone go. The co-owners continued doing it on their own, preparing takeout and selling it through traditional channels, but they could barely make ends meet. Cato works outside the business, but if they close, Tony likely wouldn't be able to get unemployment. As operating owners, um, Tony and our co-owner don't draw a salary, so they can't show a pay stub to uh, the unemployment office and, and get even 60% of, of nothing. They decided to put their usual menu on hold and keep it simple. Um, one of our more popular items are our breakfast burritos. Um, and we decided maybe we could bring those to people where they were and kind of put, put a post on Facebook, like, how about burrito to you this weekend? They took the burritos and hit the road, delivering around Seattle. Some burritos and coffee for Great. you. We've got some cash for you. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you. you. After a rough few weeks, they say it was nice to see some regulars and feel the support of the community. They're grateful the city has stopped evictions and put a hold on business taxes. And if they can ride this out, they might be able to reopen their doors once again. We want to keep it going as long as we can. You know, we, we want to be able to bounce back. And so anything that we can do to support the community and anything we can do to keep the business going. Amy Marino, King 5 News.